And look, I know that it's the 50th anniversary of Title IX, and they were paying homage to that with Malik Andrews. Paul, you hit on it. Sage Steele would have been terrific in that role. Uh, that is a woman of color that could have done it. There are any a number of people that would have done a much better job than Malik Andrews. I don't think Malik Andrews is terrible. She was terrible she, last night. She's 27 years old. Um, she missed some important and very key, obvious things that if you are a storyteller or someone that's paid to communicate over a microphone or on air, you should know. I'll give you one example. Uh, when Marjan Beauchamp was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks, they go immediately to this graphic about all the places he went to in high school, played at like six or seven high schools. And she says that we got to get to this story. This story is amazing for Marjan Beauchamp. These are all the places he's played in high school. And then that's really it. I don't know why he played at these places. I don't know if he's just a malcontent kid. Turns out I go read stories. He was just looking for better competition is why he moved around to four area Seattle high schools and then went to Glendale, Arizona at one point and played. Uh, did not give us that bit of info as the kid was crying when he was drafted. Uh, look, th there were just so many little things that add up to big things. The one good part of this draft, um, I think two of them actually. Jay Billis is Jay Billis. He's solid. Who's good? And he played his role perfectly. Had good analysis of every player, especially the college players. Um, and now I'm blanking on the guy's name, but the the NBA front office insider that was there, maybe Sharp is his last name. He just signed a multi year deal with with ESPN. I thought he was good. The guy next to Woj throughout the broadcast, Bobby Sharp. Bobby Sharp, thank you, was was good as well. Um, Kendrick Perkins, they are trying their hardest to make him Charles Barkley. He's not Charles Barkley. I don't know what he is as a broadcaster. I know what he was as a player. Uh, he is not good. I heard him coughing half the night on Mike, where they wouldn't mute him when it went to someone else. Well, that's uh, not his fault. No, that's right. That, that's production's fault. But it's an ESPN problem because I think it's pretty clear ESPN wants him to be their Charles Barkley because he's the outspoken one. He's the he's got the Southern drawl. He talks slower. He is ESPN Barkley, and he's not nearly as good and not nearly as accomplished as Charles Barkley as a player coming into this spot. And I thought it was just off when it went from Malika Andrews to Kendrick Perkins to Jay Billis. That dynamic was really off. Explain this to me. How, how is anybody served by this? The, the Knicks at 11, and obviously every year at the draft, I'm trying to get back into the Knicks, right? Uh, every NBA entry point, I'm trying to find a way to get back into the Knicks. So I'm waiting for the Knicks at 11. They draft Usman Yank, or Jeng, uh, who's a Frenchman who played for the New Zealand Breakers. A treasure hunter with Brad Pitt. Yes. <laughs> okay. It is still listed in the draft results at ESPN.com that they drafted Usman Jeng at 11. There's a Knicks symbol next to his name. He's on the Thunder. I know. And that, what that's, does, what is, how does this help anyone? This is a resource device. If I'm going to find out who's on my team, this is inaccurate. Here's the, it makes no sense. It, I, I, if it takes three hours, it takes three hours. But now he's on the Thunder, and this says he's on the Knicks. But the, but the NBA, I guess, has to make it official. That, that's what's so bizarre with it is their, their <laughs> timeline of how, how they approve these trades through the league office. Here's, here's the big issue. If I, want, if I want, though, to go buy the jersey of the new Nick, there is no new Nick. They came out of last night oh, with no one. they traded a ton. Yeah. The, the only analysis you were getting on the Knicks last night on their picks was through Stephen A. Smith and how they traded yeah, who away. Pledged for another, he pledged this before he was not going to the Garden again, and now he pledged last night he's not going to the Garden again. Stop pledging dumb stuff. You're going to the Garden again. Well, you're so, going to the Garden when your employer tells you to go. Do you have a broadcast there at any point, too? 